All right. Hello, 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 everybody. You know the deal. Next in the Swan Lake series, collection series. So let's just get started. My Apple Watch is talking. <laughs> okay, so let's see what this one is. Okay. This is a... Oh, okay. So... I took a um, card base and I cut off the piece. So first things first, we're going to mat and layer because this piece is going to hang off the side. Okay, so we're gonna mat layer. This paper is part of that paper collection that did not come from Crafter's Companion or yeah, the, the box set because I'm getting close to the end. Um, and I was using other papers. There we go. She's a wheeze. This had texture to it, which is why I really liked it. It has texture to it. So that goes right there. And then this all gets matte and layered. On here. Okay, so this gets matte and layered. This gets matte and layered on here. And none of these came with matte and layers. I cut these matte and layers myself. This piece. Um, sometimes it's funny. You can't tell which one is the front from the back. Only way I can tell is the, the cuts. The cut marks. You can see the rough edges. And so this goes right here. And that's how I know which one is up or down or whatever, because I can tell the cut layers. Okay. And this gets matted right on here. Okay, so this card is gonna open like this. And this goes here. And this goes on here like that. See, just something different. I just wanted to do something different with the cards. Oh, crap, Ola, that, that doesn't go there. This, that's, that's wrong. That's not that card that does that. Get this glue, this off. Oh, it's not. Okay. My watch telling me time to stand. This goes right here. Okay. I'm sorry. This does not go right there. This goes right here. That goes there. Then this, shoop, gotta go this way. I'm about to say, like, what's the problem? This goes like this. That goes flat. This has to be lined up with this. This goes here. In the middle-ish. And now look. Doop, doop. And then my thinking of you goes right there. And I made, this is one of the cards that the kids made for Mother's Day. So, look at it. It's super cute. Okay. Next card on the list is a slim line. It's a slim line card. Okay, I think this is going to be a bow. This one is a cute, quick card. Um, this card 
is the card. Uh, I created the card base out of some of that textures paper. And I'm going to take this piece. I've already stamped on it. And it's going to just fit right in here. Just like that. We're going to take this piece. Which one is the front? This is the front. And we're going to put this piece right here. We're going to just put this right in the center. Ish. And then this is going to go right on here. Like that. Okay. So we're going to take... some pop dots and we're popping this up I love these black pop dots <clears throat> because you can't from the side they look so much cleaner to me but they're very expensive you can get the regular white ones from the dollar store but these are more expensive um uh stamplistic has these and when they have their glue sale people buy these by the case because the, for the stamplistic die, uh, dies and um, stamps, um, you really want to use them. You really want to use them for stamplistic because you don't want to see over those cute layers. Eesh. Eesh, Louise. Okay. Now, ha, ha, ha. Loving it. Then what I did was I cut this out to go in there. All right, this goes in here. This don't go here. This go here. Like that. Post the stamps. If this one goes like that. And this one goes right here. So this one was a super cute card to me to make. Because... You just had to take the matte layer die and cut the pieces out. And then I stamped the little greenery thing on there so the ducky wouldn't be by itself. But I thought this would be really cute with the two. Um different ones and then our swan goes do I have another pack open To double these up to get it past the black thing. That past past the black frame. Okay, and so we're gonna put our little swan. And then I got a bow. I have to tie a bow. Y'all you know tying bows. 
I have a problem with. <laughs> Come on. The funny part about time bows is, is really having enough ribbon. But I don't be trying to use all that ribbon because I'm going to cut it off. And so I don't be trying to use all the ribbon. So that be my problem. Because ribbon ain't cheap. Not cheap enough for me. There we go. And then... Let's cut off our legs together. Voila. Voila. And then we're going to use some of this. And we're going to put you right there. And this goes right there. Isn't this super cute? That's super cute. And then I'll just color these in. And you got a place to write. One like that's card number two. Okay, let's break out number three. Okay, so this card right here, I got from online. I seen it and I was like, you know what? Sarah might have made one like this too, um, with the different cuts. And then I went and looked it up. Okay, so let's just mat and layer our sentiment like that. Okay, so this is how this is done, the way this is cut. I took this to the end, and I took this end to the bottom on both sides, and it folds in perfectly like that. And I don't know what the name of this is called, an angle fold card or something. But that's just as simple as it is. You take the edge here on your trimmer and put it at the end of the card base. Then you take the end of the card base and put it wherever, like one inch or something down from this part. And then this is just a standard A2 size card. That's it. And then matte layers. Matt. And this blue paper is part of the kit. It came in with the kit. But this paper did not. That's some of that texture paper. And this paper is so cute. And the to, but to keep this card closed, you need a belly band. And so I'm just going to mat this in here like that and so you can see it okay and then when you're making a belly band what you have to do is you take however much you want and you fold it over just like that okay then you bring this piece over and bend it across you don't want to put a fold in here beforehand like a score mark, because you don't know how thick your card is going to be. You have to wait until you actually create your card, okay? And then you'll just put it like that. Um, put I like to put some tape on that end and this end. And that's be so then I will catch both sides. And then just... Lay it down even, and then that'll allow it to slide, okay? Just like that. Quick and easy and simple. And then I have my little people. Um, This is going down there. This is going to be right here, and this is going on the inside. Oh, this piece. So this goes right here and I just tried to mat and layer it and get a little matte layer then I'm just slide this back on just like that and my lady for this one I'm going to try to put a this I'm gonna put tape right across here so then it only sticks on the brown part, okay? 
And when you put it on, make sure it's not going past, right? It got to stay in the front part. And then this piece is going to go here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just putting enough that it's going to go right across and only stay on the belly band. Right? And then we have our little ducky. <laughs> and I'm out again. A good thing about this is I have a lot of refills. Like, it came with like 96 refills or something in that case I bought. I only brought one pack with me because I was like, ah, I'll be good. So, I should be good. I'm, I'm getting close to the end of this series. I'm getting close, y'all. I'm getting close. So, for this, I really want to put tape all the way around because when you get to sliding that belly band... You don't want them to happen to your duck. You don't want the duck to fall off. Okay. So then now you can slide your belly band up and or down. All right, y'all. So that is card number three. All right. I will see y'all in the next one.